Hello friends, for today's video I wanted to do a very small haul for some comics and manga as well as actually a single book that I got recently and I'm talking about this here as opposed to on my main channel which is focused on books just because I think it's a little bit more relevant to what I discuss on this channel. And then kind of the main event of this video is going to be a look at the deluxe edition of Vinland Saga, the first of the deluxe editions. I actually wanted to do a whole video dedicated to that, but I figured since I had a few things that I'd picked up recently that I'd go ahead and combine the two. So I'll save the deluxe look uh, for the end of the video, and if you only really care about that, then feel free to just skip ahead and skip past this uh, first part. But the first thing I wanted to mention would be the book that I got recently, and that would be Kiki's delivery service. So I had checked out the library book of this or the library copy of this book because my friends and I, I'm sure you've seen, have started doing discussion videos for Studio Ghibli films. And my friend Christy, who has her own channel, uh, she was saying that maybe if we hadn't read the book first, then maybe we should check it out. And I hadn't read the book. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'll give it a go. It's very, very short. Um, but I wanted to read the book before our discussion. I decided to still watch the movie first just because, as I said in a recent vlog for Nausicaa, because a similar situation, that I find that if I if I read, if it's a, if it's a source material, it's a little bit more in depth, like a book, a manga, a comic series, and then I watch an adaptation, I tend to be disappointed with the adaptations. I'm sure a lot of you kind of can relate to this because you watch and you're like, well, it's missing this and they didn't include this and they changed this. And there's something about doing it in reverse that then makes me feel like, oh, I'm getting even more of the story. And it's just an overall more positive experience. I ended up reading this just before our discussion video for it, um, which I had watched the movie the night before, read this in the morning, and then we had our discussion. And it's adorable. I had read the library version and then pretty quickly was like, I want to own a copy of that. It's so cute. Kiki's Delivery Service, the movie itself, was delightful. It was wonderful. I loved it so much. My husband was saying he thinks it's his favorite Studio Ghibli movie he's seen so far because it's just so cute and so wholesome, but really moving as well. And there is this sort of melancholy tone to it on top of these bittersweet, wholesome, delicate moments. It's just so cute and meaningful and there's a lot of depth and you can love it at so many different stages in your life. So anyway, I love Kiki's Delivery Service and I'm so happy to have the book. There are some things that are almost identical in the movie and the book and there's a few other things that are a little bit different. Some random things that are not really relevant to the main themes and such. Uh, I will say, I also want to highlight that that book has some really adorable illustrations in it also, which I thought was delightful. It was so nice. Uh, now switching to some manga and comics. A friend of mine who has her own channel, Jashana, so I'll have Jashana's channel linked. Um, she recently was gonna take a bunch of things in and she gave me quite a few books as well as some comics. So one of the comics she gave me was actually an image comic and that would be Middle West. I know nothing about this, but she said she quite liked it. She just is somebody who's very comfortable uh, pretty much unhauling things that she doesn't absolutely love. So she was happy to give it to me. So I don't know. I don't know too much about it. I know Image, though, they've made some, some pretty solid comics, some very respectable comics. And it's just nice to have companies that aren't just Marvel and DC. So while I don't know basically anything about that one, I am excited to eventually give it a go. Sometimes it's kind of fun to pick up something that you don't you know, basically nothing about. Jashana also gave me one through four of Lore Olympus. These are chunky. <laughs> they're quite heavy. They don't look that thick, but they're really dense. So they weigh quite a bit. And I've never read the series. I know that it seems to be that comic book series people pick up who don't typically read comic books. I'm not sure what about this one has gained so much more mainstream attention than a lot of other comics. Um, it could be because of the fact that retellings or characters from retellings are so prominent in our trends right now. So maybe that's why. I know in a lot of fantasy romance, there's a big Hades Persephone uh, trend. So maybe it has something to do with that. I'm not sure. I know it says it was a webtoon sensation. So maybe that's playing a role that there's this sort of niche group online on various different apps or something that found this and loved it and hyped it up and then it kind of just 
built and built and built from there, which is really cool that that happened. I haven't read it though. I don't know anything about it really, other than that those are the characters that are in the story. And I do know that it tackles some themes to do with assault. So even though it looks cute and wholesome, I think there is some serious content in these. Once again, Deshauna did by no means hate the story or anything. She's just like, oh yeah, I don't mind getting rid of them. <laughs> so I had never checked them out and I've thought about checking them out before. I just have so many other things that I want to get around to first. So I was never in a hurry to rush out and buy them or anything like that. But hey, when your friend offers you them <laughs> for free, uh, I'm not gonna say no. Now on to the main event. And that would be our deluxe edition of Finland Saga. So I'm gonna show it here first and then we'll look at it with uh, some, some better footage basically so that you can really get a good look at it. It is gorgeous. It feels nice. It Weirdly, I was just talking about how Lore Olympus feels really dense for its size. This somehow doesn't, but it doesn't feel cheap by any means. Uh, the material, I know it's really weird, but I know a lot of people when it's a deluxe edition, they wanna know all of the details. The material feels really kind of buttery and smooth. So it feels really nice. I actually feel kind of bad touching it though <laughs> because I feel like I'm getting like my dirty fingers all over it. Um, it's very large, so there's quite a bit within it. And if I'm understanding correctly, I think in the back, these, there's actually a translation for them. I don't know if all of the deluxe editions are gonna say something different, but that detail I think is fantastic. If you don't know basically anything about Vinland Saga, it is Viking inspired. So it is historical fiction. I know a lot of times I talk about fantasy, but this is historical fiction manga. And it's absolutely fantastic. The other editions are great. I really like them. I like that they're hardbacks. I think that they look really nice on the shelf. They feel comfortable to read. Um, but man, this deluxe edition is absolutely gorgeous. This pattern is embossed, so you can actually feel the details. And I'll get, like I said, there will be better footage, but just so you can see it here, you can see the image and is really cool. I, I like that image a lot. The color, I, I think that it was a really cool choice. Here's what it looks like on the spine. This is also, you can feel this uh, too. You can feel it's embossed, same thing up here. So that detail also I think is fantastic. This down here, same thing, you can feel this. And then the back is just very simple, not a whole lot going on here. I don't wanna show anything that would be considered a spoiler. I'll start with the map. So when you open it, there's a map. I don't wanna open it too much because Sean, my husband who loves Finland Saga also is like, we have to relax the spine <laughs> so that it doesn't break in any way or the pages fall out or anything. Cause that can happen with something that's very large like this. I'm trying not to open it up too much just yet. Uh, but here's also in the back, you can see more of the map. And then to look at just what it looks like, like I said, I don't wanna uh, spoil anything. So I'm just gonna show things from the beginning, but it shows you the original artwork for that on the inside right when you open it. And then just some additional, once again, shows that. The whole thing's not in color. This is just showing for the original artwork. And then once you actually get around to the panels, you can see what they look like as a larger copy. So it looks great. I'm a little, I don't know, there's a part of me I'm like that do I keep those and collect all of the deluxe editions as they come out? But anyway, we're gonna segue now into some better footage of this and then we'll wrap things up.
that's it for this small haul and a look, a more in-depth look at the Vinland Saga Deluxe Edition. Let me know if you have read the comics, what were your thoughts on them? If you've read Kiki's Delivery Service, did you love the book? Have you seen the movie? And then if you are thinking about getting the Deluxe Edition, let me know that as well of Vinland Saga. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you later. Bye.